What's going on guys, Blazing here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you for joining me on another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, today we are going to be talking about Bommel. Uh, we're going to do hard 90 and you can basically use the same team, same composition to just downscale everything else according to what speeds and um, accuracy levels you're going to need. But the team is basically the same across every uh, sort of level, right? It just depends on how fast you need to go and can you meet the accuracy check right so let's get into the run all right so we have Nishak we have Cardiel and Taras and Longbeard but they're not needed right you could replace uh the Longbeard Cardiel with any Farrakhan the fat that you might have could even be a five star as long as you can hit some speeds on him uh as for the Taras you know you could use a Ragash you can use a Magnar whatever is going to help you clear the waves that's all he's there for Arbiter is going to be a requirement for this though because you need somebody that's going to bring in a weekend along with an increased attack and turn meter boost right so let's get into the run real quick uh pretty simple run right it just uh we we did turn off a couple of things so it is going to be um kind of fun i guess <laughs> but we'll clear the waves uh they'll take about 35 40 seconds at most bomb may may take one turn if worst case scenario but yeah he's it's going to be a pretty quick fight now uh, the waves here are going to be a little bit of a buzzkill because uh, you know we we need a we need to nuke them. So I think at this point we should probably have the A3 from Taras. There we go. Cleared up the waves. Forty five seconds. All right. Cardiel opens up with the A3. Right. We got two bombs there. Perfect. Nishak. We got another two bombs. Three bombs there. We got Arbiter's weekend. We got two more bombs there from his A3. We decrease attack. We decrease the timer on Bommel. Now watch this. Boom, boom, boom. One minute, three seconds. You can see my fastest run was one minute. So pretty solid, right? You're going to need to land a minimum of six to seven bombs for him to go down. And you're going to need to bring in that weekend, right? The weekend's going to cause the extra damage. So there are some conditions to have this team done. There are other teams that you could use, and I'll start working on some of those builds to get them out for you guys. They're just really time-consuming because once you get to stage 90, it's a 30-minute manual fight with, like, Templar or Crimson Helm. So let's get into the AI setup and the builds. All right, so for Nishak, pretty simple, pretty easy, right? Round one, we let him go do whatever he wants. Round two, we turn off the A2 and the A3. Round three, we open up with the A3 and then the A2, right? Longbeard. We turn off the A3 on both round one and round two, and we prioritize it on round three, right? Cardiel, we turn off the A3 on round one and round two, and we prioritize it on round three, right? Again, your Ferric and the Fats would just be the ally attack on the A3. As for Arbiter, we opened up with the A1 here. We turned it off afterwards. Now here you could do the same thing if you're, you know, taking a little longer for your damage dealer to take down the waves, um, but I would... You know, probably suggest turning it off because if you're nuking the waves that fast, uh, you might not get back to the A3 fast enough, right? You can leave the A4 on in case somebody dies so she brings them back to life. And then as for uh, when you get to Bommel, you're going to want to prioritize the A3. And then your damage dealer, you just basically, whatever is going to make him cause more damage, you just let it go free and have some fun with him, right? So let's get into the builds. All right, so as far for Arbiter... Um, we have her built in a perception and double speed. She is in my arena build, right? Uh, I don't have any refresh accessories on her. You don't really need them. Now, what you're going to want for her is you're going to want to be fast, right? So anything above 260 speed will work, right? And then the only other thing you care about is the accuracy. You want to be above 350, right? If you can get closer to four, perfect. If not, it is what it is. Books wise, you don't really need her booked, right? The increased attack and the um, speed boost are going to happen regardless, right? There's no percentage chance on it, so that's fine. As for Blessings, I do have Intimidating Presence because I use her for Arena. Masteries-wise, they're not really going to be needed, but I just have standard um, Masteries for Arena. So Nishak, right? Nishak, we have him built in a triple perception, and that is going to be because we need to cover the speeds and accuracy along with making sure he has as much attack as possible. So... Um, for him, we have the uh, attack at 6.6, .6, almost 6.7k, right? Uh, with the increased attack, along with his lead for the aura, we're pretty good. 246 speed. Now, this could come down all the way to, I believe it's like 220, uh, depending on how fast your Arbiter is, right? Uh, and then the only other thing you care about is the accuracy. You want to be, you know, like I said, as close to 400 as possible uh, to have 
as less fails as possible, right? Because if you don't have the accuracy, then you're kind of SOL'd. Um, you do want the A3 booked, right? And then you do want the A2 booked to be able to get those chances. As for a blessing, we did take Brimstone, right? We are using him in the lead, so make sure you put his aura in the lead. And Masteries, we went down to Eagle Eye, Sniper, Lore of Steel, and Cycle of Magic. And we did take Kill Streak and Methodical. These are basically Masteries that you could use down the line if you wanted to start soloing some stuff with him. All right. And I mean, as for your damage dealer, I'm not going to go through what I have my Taras built in, but whatever you have for a nuker is going to be fine. They don't need to be excessively, you know, geared. They just need to be able to clear the waves, right? So you're going to want to make sure that they can do enough damage for that. I'd say anywhere above 2 to 225 for stage 90 for speed is going to work well, right? As for the ally attacks, you are going to want them fast, right? You're going to want them at about 250, 255. Whatever your Arbiter is, just slightly below her, right? Um, now, if your Arbiter is geared to, like mine, at like 390, you don't need to have them that fast. You could have them at like 250, 260, uh, anything above 250 so that they can take the turn before Bommel and that it doesn't mess up the tune to uh, have Nishak go. So, um, you know, I'm not going to... There's, there's no need to show you guys the rest of those builds because you just care about the speed, right? Um, and that's pretty much about it. So, guys, I hope this helped. I will be doing some more guides on... Bommel and what you guys can do for it. Uh, I do want to, you know, let you guys know that they are going to be long runs, right? Some of them are manual, some of them are not. So, um, as always, guys, hope that this video helped. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Again, you could always use the uh, rare or the epic that we just got from the last fusion, I believe it was, uh, from the dwarfs instead of Bommel, uh, for Bommel instead of Nishak. But yeah, that's, uh, I don't have her, so I can't test her out, right? I, I decided to go for the fusion. So as always, guys, much love, much appreciation. Be safe, be well, be good to each other, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.